Hi Anne uh, and everyone else who's uh, watching. Um, I've just watched your 13th of August video and um, yeah, um, I'm a bit well, I'm the same as everyone else really, just in complete chaos in it. I mean, before all this started, I, I'd been out of work for a long time due to mental health, but um, I'd got back on the work thing and I'd been in work for like four months and um, then this all started, so the job was lost. Um, very close person to me, uh, nearly had a mental breakdown at the beginning. Um, it was just, it was horrible to see. Because, uh, I mean, I've suspected for years. I mean, I was watching a video before about someone saying that, um, it wasn't one of your videos, but um, I put a link to it on Facebook. Because he was saying the same thing that I've been saying for years, that this this has been in the pipeline for ages, for years. You know, a lot of people sort of have the impression that this coronavirus is, you know, the catalyst. This is what's going to... No, no. It's, it's been... It's been going for years. I mean, they've had this in the, in the pipeline for a long time, probably talking 50 years, which is near enough my whole life, really. Um, where do I see us going? F f uh, um, the, the thing is, though, and this, this, is, this is the kicker, this is the kicker, when you were asking about, you know, where do we go from here? How can we change this? And unfortunately, I don't think we can. I really don't think we can. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people out there who are saying, including me, you know, don't bring that fucking, um, uh, what's it called, the uh, vaccine, and don't be bringing the chip, because, nah, not interested. But it, one, of the, one of the guys, I can't remember his name, uh, he said it perfectly on one of your videos, where he, he basically said, you know, if you're a family man, or if you've got, you know, a family, and you get told, you know, all right, you don't have to have this if you don't want to, but you can't travel, you can't buy anything, you can't go to any shops, you can't go to work, you can't go visit your kids, you can't do this, you can't do that. How many of us are seriously going to stand up and say, well, fine, still not having it? You see, they've got us by the balls. They really have. Um, do I think that, you know, we as, as a group... Um, can change anything I would love to think so I really would I would love to think that you know if we all stand together and we do the marches and we do this and we do that that the government going to turn around and say all right and fine you win you know we'll all go back to normal you know it's like the government it's like you know that idiot we've got you know uh he's just a puppet he's he's he's, he's as blind as the rest of us you know, he certainly isn't high enough to get any of the information. So, you know, he's being told what we're being told, I reckon. Trump, different guy. That guy is fucking hilarious. I don't care what anyone says. And I know, you know, a lot of the things that he does, you might look at him and think he's an idiot. But I'm telling you, when this when this is done, I, I suspect that Trump's going to come out as, as, as a hero, really. I really do believe that. Um, do I see things changing? Um, well, I, I was watching a video the other week and it looks like stage two is going to be goggles. We're going to have to start wearing goggles as well as the fucking masks. Excuse my language. Um, because let's not forget, at the beginning of all this, they clearly said to us, oh, you can catch this through your eyes as well. And we all seem to have forgotten that. Um, so, yeah, I reckon stage two is, is going to be goggles. Um, again, I was watching a video... Uh, it might have been one of yours. I, mean, I can't remember the place where the guy was, but I'm sure he said that they've already brought in goggles. You have to start wearing goggles. I'm not sure. But, um, <coughs> yeah, because they've got it sorted, haven't they? they? They already said to us, you know, you can catch it in the eyes. So, hmm, okay. So now we're going to be walking around with a mask and fucking goggles. So we might as well just go all the hog and just get one of those. I want one of those masks with a big, you know, the ones that just make you look like a madman. Might as well. Um, one thing that is surprising me is crime hasn't gone up. Um, because, you know, it's like everyone said, the only people that used to wear masks were fucking muggers and, and you know, people that had bad things in mind. Um, but we don't really hear much about anything at the moment. It's all chaos. Here's a little thing for you, right? And this is, you know, I've got no proof of this. 
But it's all about mentalism. It's all about, you know, getting your people to be scared, getting your people to be anxious. How many times have you been lying in bed at night and, you know, you hear a police car? The first thing that comes in your mind, and it might not come into your mind as in you're not sat there literally thinking it, but subconsciously, the first thing that comes into your mind is, oh, what's happened? Has someone been a blah, 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 blah. But it's keeping you fucking, it's keeping you, you know, heightened. So who's to say that the police for years, you know, haven't sort of said, oh, John, do me a favour, mate. Just go drive your car up this street and put your, put your siren on. Because it's all subconscious. It's all, it's all mental, you know. Very little of this is to do with physical or, or you know, other than the mask you're wearing and all that. But, but um, so, yeah, um, it's great what you're doing. Oh, uh, my name's Morris, by the way. I should have said that at the beginning, really, shouldn't I? Uh, unemployed, thanks to this fucking COVID. Sorry about my language. But um, I think it's brilliant what you're doing. And I watched your um, three-part interview with uh, Robbie Williams. And that was just brilliant. It, it, it was so refreshing to see uh, a celebrity um, actually on our side, which, you know, even though he didn't say, you know, he believed in everything, I thought I thought the way he, he, he came across was very good. I, th I thought, you know, he was he was extremely good. And, you know, I watched all three of them and I, you know, I uh, shared them and that. So, yeah. So... Ending, um, I don't know where we're going. I really don't. I, 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 I see a dark future where there's no, no streets. Everyone is... Um, I don't know if you've seen that um, film. I don't know if I should say the film because it might be advertising. But there's a film about a kid. And at that stage, I think... I think it's 2040-odd, I think, the film's setting. Um, but everyone just lives in, in blocks. Just In fact... Not even blocks, they're just, they're just caravans piled on top of each other, most of them. And that's how people live. And that's where we're going. We are going to a position where there is no one on the streets, there is no shops on the streets. Um, the only thing that's going to be open are warehouses for things to be delivered to people. Um, and this is reality. Uh, I mean, I live in Manchester and already there, I've heard murmurs about them changing names of places to new town and they they've over the last few years they've knocked and knocked and knocked and knocked houses down just just I don't know why it's mad but now they're going to start building and building and building on these wastelands that used to have shops and that on them so yeah but it's like I said to my son you know at the end of the day it's going to be completely different but we're the human race and we just we, you just adjust you so it will be a normal i'm not saying it's going to be a good, a good normal but as the human race have always done we will adjust to it we will you know um just get on with it in it but um i would love it if it all came around and the people that be um got their comeuppance um who knows who knows? So, yeah, uh, that's me babbling for nearly nine minutes. So uh, thank you very much for this platform. Uh, I think it's I think it's amazing what you people have done. Uh, a lot of you, you can clearly see in the videos that you're nervous and that you don't really want to do it, but you feel like you should do it. And that's what's made me do it. So, um, yeah, uh, take care, everyone, in this crazy time. And thanks again, Anne. I think you're amazing. Uh, I really do. I think you're fantastic. So, yeah, that's me gone. So take care, everyone. And uh, see you on the other side, innit?